Hey, Ben Baxter back here in the Angler's All Fly Tying Studio. Today we're going to tie up the mini dragon tail for you. So we're starting with a 6040 streamer stripper Teflon coated hook from Foley Mill. Uh, working with the Power Thread 140 from Beavis. This is an olive. started. First thing I'm going to be tying in is just a small piece of just some 20 pound mono for the tail support. Kind of he help keep the tail from fouling. If you can see this kind of already has some memory to it so the way I'm going to tie it in is with the curve going outwards instead of inwards, that'll kind of help keep that um, that loop shape once uh, it all gets tied in there. Tying that in kind of right about the halfway point, a little behind that, because we're we're gonna tie in some brass coated lead eyes for a little bit of weight on this fly. As you can see, because I tied it in loop out like, like so, when I pull it back, it kind of wants to, to go up just a smidge, which is actually what I'm looking for. Couple good wraps in there and then pull that, make her a little smaller. And then lash her down. A little smaller than that. Good. Trim out your excess on that. Now I'm just going to take some, um, some gloss coat head cement and coat this in a second. Before I do that, I do want to show you what I'm doing with this dragon tail. This is just um, some thread core. And I'm gonna take a lighter and just singe that a little bit. And I'm also going to take some flex glue. This is Solarez Flex. And I'm just gonna coat that tip a little bit because they do tend to fray pretty easy on, on your back cast and come undone. The ones that we have in the bin have this already done to them, but if you're tying them at home, I highly suggest you do this. Just hit it with the light real quick, and that will keep that tail from fraying. Before I tie this dragon tail in, we're going to take some gloss coat head cement here. Don't need too much, but enough to, to get a good coat. if you go a little over because this is just going to support your tail on the underside. So we'll take our tail and you're going to tie this in kind of right. You want kind of the bulk meat of the dragon tail to sit right on that guard on that mono. Trim 
cram a little bit of this out because we just don't need it. It just takes up space. Doesn't hurt, but um, I just like to try and make it a little cleaner than that. <clears throat> Next, we're going to tie in some, these are size large uh, lead eyes. Just brass, if you want this fly to be a little heavier, I'm sure you could add some, some lead or maybe even some some wraps of wire or something along those lines to to help it get down faster but this fly is actually pretty pretty good at getting down quick we're just doing some crossing wraps here some securing under wraps as well If you wanted you could use a little glue to kind of lock those in but if you do your wraps right they should uh, stay right where you want them next is Senyo's laser dub this is an olive and we're just pulling this back Kind of laying it on top of each other you don't need a whole whole lot but you're going to tie in a couple clumps of this so what i'm actually doing to get a little more coverage towards the back of this fly is instead of laying it kind of half you know right down the center i'm actually gonna push it a little bit towards the back so those fibers are a little longer And do a couple securing wraps here. Pull that back and lash that down. If you want, you can comb this out. And, um, I'm just going to pull a couple of these fibers out here. You can actually just tie those right back in if you want to. Again, you can tie in as as much or as few as you want on this head to keep it a little more streamlined or um, you know bulk up that head a little more if you really want it to get big. If you need to, if you kind of grab some fibers that you didn't mean to, pick that out with a bodkin or use a brush if you need to. Do that too. Before I get one more in. This one I'm going to tie in right at the head, so I'll move my thread forward a little bit. And spin 
that too just so I get a nice tight wrap on that I'm spinning that as I'm looking at it it's clockwise just to help tighten that, that last wrap or two up Finisher. Gonna whip finish this fly. You can definitely call this fly good at this point. Um, uh, a lot of the flies that I tie, I don't put eyes on because when you lose one, the fly kind of flies sideways, swims sideways. Um, but for the sake of completing this pattern, we will put these eyes on for you. This is a, a fish skull living eye in the earth color in a six millimeter. These little guys right here. Uh, you can use some pretty stout glue if you want just to try and keep those eyes on a little bit longer I've used Gorilla Glue or you know lots of other um, super glues to try and keep eyes to stay on but for this one again I'm just gonna use this solar resin flex put a little bit on the back of the eye here get her started you really want to be conscious of where those eyes are sitting on the head you really want them to be in the same spot on the front and back of this um, this head at least as you're looking at it on either side I'm gonna take a little more of this flex Push down a little bit and I'm gonna kind of slide it right up underneath that eye. You definitely want some to be exposed so when you hit it with the, the light it can actually cure it. Otherwise that glue is not gonna do a whole lot of good but you can see that little bit of dark on the front of that eye where that glue is actually sitting. And we'll do the same with this side. Get that guy put on here. There we go. So I'm kind of pushing on the back part of this eye so it, it allows me to get First off, get a little bit of a grip on the eye, but it, it also allows me to get that bodkin up underneath the front without moving the eye too much. Once I get it centered in, you really don't want that eye to move too much. Otherwise, your fly is not gonna track the right, the right way. It'll be kind of sideways, if you will, and if, if you're worried about that, then uh, you definitely want to make sure those eyes get in the right spot. So, there it is. Your uh, mini dragon tail fly. Thanks for watching. Look us up on YouTube, Instagram. Like, subscribe. Smash that uh, notification button. And keep an eye out for the next time video. See ya.